Hi everyone, my name is Jen Giffen. I am a teacher librarian in York Region, and I am also the mom of three boys who are in French immersion. As a former French immersion student myself, and uh, having an ICT specialist, I wanted to put something together to help parents who might be feeling uneasy about what lies ahead and our students being home, our children rather being home, and wanting to help them with their work, but feeling a little bit helpless if you don't speak French. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of a hack. It involves um, a couple of tools that will help you help your, your children if you are um, trying to support their French work and you don't speak French. So here we go. This is for if you're watching videos, let's say with your children and you want to know what they're saying and you can't make out what is going on. The first thing that you'll want to do is go to a website called translate.it. It is a Microsoft product. It is a live time translator. And as soon as you get in there, um, you are going to start a conversation and you will do that by logging in with either a Microsoft account, a Facebook account, or a Google account. So I'm going to use my Google account. And then it will ask you what your name is and what your language is. Now, if you're watching a video with your children, you're going to want to make sure that this is French because that's the language that is sort of the, the main language we're going to use. From there, you're going to click enter and you can close this down. It just says that you're the only person there. And then this toggle here, it says mode présentateur. So it's presenter mode. You're going to toggle that over. And everything that now is being said, it thinks I'm speaking in French, will be captured. Now you're going to go to another device. And I, I recognize that I am assuming that people have two devices. And it, this is how this hack works, unfortunately. I'll try to think of a better one and share it if I can. Um, you are going to now, from your device, scan the barcode. In an iOS device, this uh, automatically is done in the camera app. Otherwise, in an Android app, I believe you still need a QR reading app. Once you scan it, you want to open. And what you will see is it will take you to a website saying, hey, yeah, here's a code. What do you want to do with it? So you're going to put in your name and then the language you would like to see the translation in. So in my case, I would choose English, but if you are more comfortable speaking Farsi, or if you're more comfortable speaking Mandarin or Cantonese, or Spanish, or, or Dutch, or Swahili, whatever your language is, you're going to pick that. And then you're going to press Done. So at this point, back on the main device, and this will be where you started the uh, Microsoft.it, you're going to open a new tab, and this is where you will play the video that your child will watch. I really like this video or this website, IDELO. It has a ton of free stuff. It's by uh, TFO and I can just search anything I like. And the one that we're watching with my kids in grade two right now is this video series called C'est quoi l'idée? So it's all about ideas and understanding the world around you. And when I come in here and if I play any one of these, so I'm going to do this one, Les Amis, The Friends. <laughs> Moi, je pense que les amis, ça rend heureux. Mais est-ce qu'un ami doit forcément me ressembler? Euh, je crois, oui. Oh. So you can now spend some time watching videos with your children that they can hear the French and practice their French and read if you've turned on closed captioning. But you can see a translation into your language of choice on your mobile device. The translation is not perfect, there are errors, but it will at least allow you to engage in some sort of conversation and um, spark those sort of uh, thinking skills in our students. So asking them to summarize, asking them to predict, asking their opinions are things that we can really do to support literacy at home, even if it's in a language that we don't speak. So I hope this tip helps alleviate some frustration and engages you in some meaningful conversations at home with your children while the school closures are on. Good luck.